berry season in Oregon, and I'm with Janie Hibbler, the author of The Berry Bible, and she's going to share with us one of her recipes from her book, uh, Just a Great Treat with Berries. So what are we making today? We are going to make a shortbread and a warm berry port sauce. All right, so how do we get started? Love this recipe. So first of all, it's sort of two parts. We're going to make the crust first. So mm. it's a shortbread crust. Okay, and the ingredients are? So the ingredients are, we're going to add flour, uh, two tablespoons of cornmeal, nine tablespoons of butter, brown sugar, and a little bit of lemon zest. All right, cornmeal's a so, little bit different, but that sounds good. Just regular old, this is Albert's cornmeal, two tablespoons of this. Okay. So this weekend- You can add that. This weekend there's a, a festival celebrating Oregon berries. It's yes. the Oregon Berry Festival. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? I can. It is so wonderful. It's going to be, um, just imagine a farmer's market, but it's all berries. Okay. So there are vendors inside and outside and a live stage. So I understand that some of the other events that are going on, that they have children's activities, they have a chef cook-off, uh, live entertainment on a bluesberry stage. Yeah, it it's sounds like be, a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun and something for everyone. And it's all free. Oh, that's great. Can't beat that. So then just a little bit of lemon zest. And that will do it. We'll just add a little bit of this. And then you're just gonna blend it together and then after that it's gonna go into a pan? An eight by eight pan and we'll just bake it for 18 minutes. It's so simple. Very few ingredients, easy to make, really and quick. So good. Last minute treat, great, all right. All right, Jane, I'm ready for the star of the show, the berries. Okay, this I love this recipe because we use whatever berry is in season. So today we're gonna make it, this is the sauce for the shortbread. Okay. So we're gonna, we have strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And we are going to add first to the pan, we need a fourth a cup of sugar. A little bit of sugar. We're going to add a half a cup of port. Sounds great. And that'll ultimately get reduced down. It will. Same okay. color as the berries. That beautiful, beautiful And red. are you using a vanilla bean? A little bit. You Should can, I grab you one can for take you? one out. There's okay. just a little piece of a vanilla bean. All right. And then how many berries total? Well, it doesn't have to be exact, so, but I say about three cups. You can just add that in there. And you can, you can mix any combination that you want to yeah. So if you do it in this container that has four cups, you can kind of see where you get to three. Okay, we've already added the strawberries. So let's okay. see, are we up to three? No, we need a few more. A little bit so more, all right. Let's add raspberries. Okay, that should do it. So we're gonna put that into our pan. And then the vanilla bean. And the vanilla bean. And are we gonna cook this down to a sauce with the berries? What or? we're gonna do, we're gonna heat it up. We wanna keep the berries whole. So we'll heat this up just for about two minutes. We want it just to get hot so the berries start to release their okay. juice. Then we're going to use a slotted spoon and remove the berries and then just reduce the sauce. Okay, well we'll give it a little bit of time here. Okay. So it's just been a couple of minutes. So That's they, right. you and they haven't up. fallen apart at all. No. They're still nice, nice whole berries. Still nice. And would you like to grab that vanilla pot out of there? That. We'll take that out now. Right. We just want a little seasoning for that. So Oregon berries aren't in season year round. So what's a good option? Because this is a great dessert. I can see having this in the winter time. That's right. I, I do make this year round. You can buy wonderful frozen berries. They're whole. They're called IQF, individually frozen, year okay. round. So, so you, you can so, have so your So Oregon own berries aren't just here in the summertime. We no. can get them year round. Well, that's, that's great. Right. That's great. So after we get all the berries out, then you say we're going to reduce the liquid down. And what that does is concentrates the flavors. Okay. So of course you, we all know Oregon berries are the best berries you can buy. And this just reduces the flavor, so it becomes very intense. Okay. And about how long does that take? It just takes, so it depends, of course, how high your heat is, but just a few minutes. Okay, great. All right. And I like this because you can do it way in advance. Great. So you could do this before dinner. Just leave this set aside. I'll show you how to serve it in just a minute. All right, great. So after you reduce the port, you add the berries back. So this is actually a warm dessert. It's a warm dessert. It's, we're just going to put a little bit on the shortbread. They look really nice too. And it really is a pretty dessert. It is. And I like that you can make this year round too. And yeah, you actually top it too. I top it with just a little, this is creme fraiche, which is cultured cream, sour cream. Uh, I can't wait to give that a try. And if you're interested in more recipes from Janie, you need to check out her book, The Berry Bible. And for more berry fun this weekend, stop by. The EcoTrust Building for Oregon's first ever berry festival. Thanks a lot.